Where should uh, we go to next? Well, uh, let's um, let's talk to uh, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Hi, yeah. So um, I'm summing this up because I want to get I want to get that you're calling properly. Um, so uh, your two children had a terrible traffic accident last October. Your little boy suffered brain damage. He's recovering, but will not talk about it. And your little girl now has. Uh, PTSD from the memories as she was only one that day. It's amazing. That's young how suddenly mm. it strikes, isn't it? Mm. When the accident happened uh, and she saw and heard it all. She says she's devastated. She can't seem to help them in any way. And you, uh, do you think your children are different to the ones that you had? They're very different to the ones my, I had, particularly my little boy. Mm. Um, he's He can't talk about it and I'm just worried that he's holding something back. They're yeah. not sure. Yeah. Um, with his brain injury, whether he can remember it and he's hiding it or whether he's, he's just holding on yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. That's tough. I think, you know, I, I agree. I think it is something to be very concerned about. I think you should see your GP, get a referral to a paediatrician because that's going to be the way to access proper care. Even when children are very young, sometimes what they call cognitive behavioural therapy helps and it can be geared to go at the right pace for children and that, that sort of helps children get the memories out at a pace they can cope sort with. Sort of therapy drawing and painting. Exactly, but then also, as I was going to say, actual play therapy. CBT, cognitive behavioural, is more about talking. Play therapy, sometimes singing about it, but painting and drawing and using dolls and reenacting it, that really helps children. So in a way he'll be able to express himself without necessarily exactly. saying Exactly, and access the memories, because it is important really, because children, you know, they can sometimes like, distort it into something even worse than it actually was for them. And this applies to your little girl too. So GP, paediatrician, and really insist that your children need help. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much indeed. Um,